Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Wesno's Facts. Today we'll be doing a heart rate accuracy test between the Amazfit GTR 3 Pro as well as the Huawei Band 6. And this heart rate accuracy test was actually being done while I was skipping rope for half an hour at my local gym. The benchmark to the test was as per usual the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. So without further ado, let's get into the results of this one. If you're new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. You may be wondering, why would I be comparing the Huawei Band 6, which is just a band, a fitness band, versus the latest flagship from Amaz Fit? Well, simply because the Huawei Band 6, when it was released around six months ago, has shown great heart rate accuracy and the fact is it's a very light and a very slim line tracker so when it does sit firmly on top of your wrist the watch doesn't really move around the wrist and it gets the most accurate heart rate measured from the wrist well with the Amazfa GTR that's quite a big watch it's a 46 millimeter watch in diameter so it is rather heavy and big it can move around but we've noticed that its accuracy is also pretty good. So what we've done is put these two great fitness trackers and smartwatches being the best, well, in my opinion, in regards to heart rate accuracy from the optical heart rate sensors on the back of them to the test. Just let's see which optical heart rate sensor can take the lead. So there I was in the gym skipping rope for about half an hour. And let's talk about the stats. So the Huawei actually registered just over 900 jumps, while the Amazfa GTR 3 Pro has measured me doing just over 1400 jumps. So this is an increase of over 55%. I was actually, well, trying to sort of keep up and trying to count how many skips I've actually done. I've come to a number of somewhere around 1250 to 1300 jumps because I think I've been off. So giving myself a plus minus 50. But that is way closer to a Masfit GTR 3 Pro. I think Huawei definitely underestimates the jumps. Nonetheless, it is pretty cool that there you are just moving your wrists in that motion. And these two trackers can actually monitor that and register the amount of jumps you've done. That's pretty cool. Anyways, so let's take a look at the benchmark and that's the Polar H10. Now the Polar H10 actually tells us that the average heart rate was 140 beats per minute while the max was 164 beats per minute. Let's take a look at the results from Huawei and then we'll take a look at what a mass fit has come to show us. Once again, Huawei Band 6, a tracker that sets you back just 40 quid or 50 bucks. Wowzers! Skipping for 30 minutes and you still get an excellent result. We see that the average heart rate was measured at 139 beats per minute. That's just one beat per minute off from a professional grade Polar H10 chest strap. And the max was actually 160 beats per minute. So four beats per minute underestimating the Polar H10. Nonetheless, the result is still excellent. Now let's take a look what the Amazfit has come up with. And here the results are just astounding. On the average, 140 beats per minute. On the max, 164 beats per minute. That means it's in line one to one with the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. Now, these results were so astounding that I actually went to the gym the next day, that was yesterday, and I've actually redone that test specifically with the Amazfit GTR just against the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. And once again, the results were astounding, but you can see those results in the video that I've left a link up to just above me right now. So check that out. And that will just blow you away because those results are astounding. The Amazfit GTR 3 Pro has an optical heart rate sensor that I've never seen quality that is even close to it on any other smartwatch, sportwatch, fitness tracker. This is just unbelievable. The accuracy is so high. But anyways, check the link just above me right now. Check out that comparison between the Polar H10 
and the Amazfit GTR3 Pro. And you will see what I'm talking about. Another majorly important point about the Zep app and the Amazfit GTR3 Pro. So I haven't seen any other smartwatch to show you as much stats about skipping as the MS fit now take a look at one of these screens in the zip app it actually shows you how many jumps you've done on a scatter plot across the full time that you were skipping and you can go into the enlarged or the zoomed view and actually go pin by pin or point by point on all the times that you were jumping throughout that time and you can see your maxes you can see your lows this is just great and of course you see the average as well now if i put the two charts together from the first day i did skipping and the second day you will be able to see that my max was improved that my average skips per turn or per session did improve as well anyways thank you for watching this particular test what can we see out of it well the huawei band 6 for a very budget tracker the accuracy is astounding but a massive gtr3 pro well is slightly better because you are paying a premium really but you're getting much more functionality and the good thing is it's not just the functionality it's not just the looks it's the accuracy as well anyways as i said thank you for watching the video if you liked it please drop me a like and if you want to see more of the same please hit the red subscribe button below the video and I'll see you in the next one.